Mr. Kalfin, hello and welcome to this interview. You finished a report. Uh, I have this report here, it's about 40 pages, and it's called, it's a report on negotiation on the MFF, the multi-annual financial framework, meaning the EU budget for the next seven years from 2014 to 2020. And it's called afterwards, lessons to be learned. So if we think about lessons to be learned, it's meaning there was something wrong during these negotiations. What went wrong? Well, yes, uh, I would say that uh, the basic problem for these negotiations was that we were sometimes talking very different languages to different institutions in the European Union. The Parliament was talking about policies and priorities and the Council or the Member States were talking about figures only and even one single figure which was uh, the maximum of the budget. And uh, this is the big problem. We never uh, uh, were able to make the Council discuss policies. So what should change the next time? The next time, uh, what we very much would like uh, to change is to have a decent debate about the political goals and the political priorities, because the budget is an instrument to achieve those. And even in times of austerity uh, in national budgets, uh, the European budget is an investment tool, and it is helping very much the national policies. So this is the angle we would like to have uh, together with, uh, with the Council. We would like to have a much better cooperation with the national parliaments also so that the citizens understand that the European budget uh, brings additional value. And the euro spent by the European budget is sometimes, most of the times, more than the euro spent by, by the national budget. Let, let's go now on the positive side. There is a mid-term review in 2016. That would be interesting to see what you say there, what, what will change there at least. And of course, there is some flexibility in this budget. Uh, Tell us a bit more about that. What will happen in 2016 and how are you sure that something will really be implemented then in 2016? It is very important that the Council indeed engages in this, uh, this mid-term review because it could be theoretically blocked uh, unless there is a, a consensus in the, in the Council, but it is going to be very important to review where we are, where we want to go and whether the budget needs some adjustments. The second thing that we agreed is to create a high-level group on own resources uh, under the the chairmanship of Mr. Monti that already started working uh, to explore different options uh, how the budget uh, of uh, Europe is not going to be larger but not most autonomous and less of a burden for the national budget. This is also very important and finally of course the flexibility which is going to allow a much better and more efficient use of every single euro in the budget. The new problem is now that we have election just in a few weeks meaning the MEPs discussing all this today will maybe not be back after the elections and this means also a new commission you will not have the same people discussing negotiating this how sure are you that this what you said now will be confirmed in 2016 I think and this is uh, the aim of this report. Uh, this is practically the legacy of, uh, of the negotiations we had, uh, which are directed to the next uh, parliament, to the next commission. Uh, they're going to address this issue since the very beginning. I'm sure that one of the questions uh, for, the, for the candidate for president of the European Commission is going to be uh, whether he is committing to start the procedure of a midterm review. So definitely this is going to be raised since the very beginning of the next, next legislature. Okay, let's go back to your report. The question is also seven years, a budget foreseen for seven years. This, for some of you, is just a, a too long time. It was in five years. Some say five years would be much better because situation changed. We had a crisis. This crisis may uh, develop in a way or another. Uh, what it is. is your argument? The, 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 this is the problem, that uh, formally, if there is no proper midterm review, the next parliament is going to have no say on the budget. The next commission is going to have no say on the, on the budget, which is not normal. If we bring the European budget with the length of the political cycle, that would mean also at elections to discuss political priorities and to discuss budgets, like, like you do in every national parliament. Of course, the longer term is good for uh, large European projects, for, 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 for long-term projects, but it is possible to do it uh, even if uh, uh, the financial framework is squeezed to five years. Uh, I think that politically it's much better because uh, in such a way you engage every single parliament and commission with discussing budgets and, and, and priorities. Okay, let's see next time and I uh, hope to see you back after the elections. Thank you. Thank you.